So what is going on people, welcome to episode 36 of the Peterborough United Career Mode here on FIFA 23. I hope you're well. And well, last time out it was quite the episode. Four wins from four in the month of September. And we're hopefully going to look to uh, continue a similar pattern today, although it is going to be tough. If you are looking forward to this episode, make sure you pop a like on there for me. Subscribe to the channel. And well, firstly, let's have a look at how the Premier League... The Premier League... Wishful thinking. The championship table looks then. And well, at the start of this episode, we sit in second. We have a game in hand, though, on Brighton, who have pushed a point clearer of us. We were, at the end of the last episode, uh, top of the table. But, uh, yeah, still sat in second. And well, the team we take on first today is that team in fourth position. It is going to be Fulham that we take on in this first game. And if we have a look at what else to, is to come in this episode. So as we said, we start with that game against Fulham. We're then going to sim the away game against Bolton. Play the away game against QPR. Sim the home game against Coventry. And then play Bournemouth at the end of the month. Hopefully get a bit of revenge on Bournemouth after they absolutely twatted us in the FA Cup last season. And well... They're in a rich vein of four players playing well. Two players with hat-tricks last time out. This is what the squad is looking like. And, uh, yeah, I'm just really, really enjoying this team right now. So after the absolute pasting that we handed Sunderland in the last episode, as you can see, we're going to move this game up to ultimate and see how we get on. We've they've just noticed they've got Hazard on the left. I really hope that's not Eden. Um... But, uh, yeah, we're going to try this game on Ultimate. Normally, if we look to move up, we turn Competitor Mode on on Legendary. And that hasn't fared so well for us so far in this save. So what we're going to do is just move it up to Ultimate and see how much of a difference that is against a team like Fulham. Probably not the right time to do it. But then again, they're probably going to prove to be the most difficult task we've got this season. So... It wouldn't make too much of a difference anyway, I don't think. But this is their side then, and it is not Eden Hazard. But still, Gaz and Eager in goal for them. A back four from Barbu, Palomino, Obispo and Luke Thomas. Deep midfield three, of, uh, two sorry, of Palina and Kakare. That is a superb midfield. Harry Wilson out on the right, Thorgan Hazard on the left, and Andres Pereira in behind Marcus Turam with some very good options on the bench. We are unchanged. Fulham playing in their luminous green kit. Let's see how Altman goes, shall we? And well, that's not a bad start, actually. Oh, if they're going to give the ball away to us that generously, then, uh, yeah, I'll happily get along with that. I don't... I somehow think that our, game, our run of six games in a row, or six wins in a row, sorry, might well end today. That's really good play. Oh, that's unfortunate from uh, Ghana. Yeah, I feel like our, our, our run of winning games could come to an end today. But still, we need to challenge ourselves every so often. And Turam is in behind it. And Knight needs to stay with him if he can. And Bentley is just folding underneath that one. Pereira puts Fulham 1-0 to the good with their first option. Their first shot of the game. It's not the best strike, admittedly. And, uh, yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed with Dan Bentley there. But, uh, unfortunately, he's drilled that a long low. I mean, can we be disappointed? I can be, to be fair. 1-0 to Fulham. Kudabali. And wide to Montoya. Oh, that's a big sweeping tackle there from Hazard. Letting Montoya know that he's there. Into Elias now. And again, oh, that wasn't what I wanted, but Garner's there, and Garner will have us level, and it's actually worked out not too badly for us. Gazaniga desperately trying to scramble at the feet of Garner. I was actually trying to get that ball to Kula Bali there, because the space had just opened up. But um, Estrada had actually drawn out on Barbu, and Garner continued his run. So it left the space there, and in just a few minutes, four minutes later, I think, to be exact... We have ourselves level. Maybe we shouldn't be so scared of ultimate after all. Nice little one two. And it allows Wilson down this right hand side. And Burrows can't quite get there ahead of Turam. Who's in behind again. And that is a superb finish from Marcus Turam. The gaps. Just as we exploit them and punish them. It looks like on ultimate. 
the the uh, AI do the exact same. Although when you've got the likes of Marcus Turam up front in the championship, that is going to happen. But yeah, lovely little one-two again, and the outside of the foot finish, absolutely superb. While well, parity didn't last long, eight minutes, three goals. And, uh, yeah, certainly an entertaining game between two early uh, high flyers so far this season. And they've got us at sixes and sevens here. And watching Josh Knight just try and deal with Marcus Turam is actually quite funny, to be perfectly honest. Can't get near them at the moment. Thankfully, that one is a little bit loose. Oh, but Wilson has done really well to intercept the pass. Oh, and Marcus Turan has done it again. The commentary has kind of gone to pot on this one, but I'm trying desperately hard to uh, try desperately hard to concentrate. To be honest, on the defending and Elias. Oh, he managed to get quite far there, but uh, nicked off him at the last. <sighs> oh, fuck! Hit him on the bounce as he's gone down injured. Oh. I Thorgan's just had, a, had his way with Montoya there. Really good tackle from Jack Taylor. Can we spring the counter now, Mayejo? Well, he's still down injured, and he's going to have to go off Mayejo, the substitute, which is rather unfortunate. Into the final 10 minutes, I think Fulham have kind of stepped off the gas a little bit, but, um, yeah, it's certainly been, as we said earlier, certainly been a loving curve as Montoya has just left his man there, and Knights had to come out. And it's Kakare into the area. And there's Turam. And that is a fourth. Oh, this man <laughs> has been a big problem for us. But, um, yeah, moving it up to ultimate. Probably not the best idea in this game. But, you know, I wanted a challenge. And I've got more than I could certainly have asked for. So, uh, it is to be defeat in this one. But it's not too bad. Of all the teams, I'm... Don't mind losing to Fulham because they've just been relegated. So, is there time for two rounds to get one? I fit. <laughs> Thankfully, the final whistle goes. I was about to say it's not really fair that a man like Marcus Turam gets to play in the championship. But there you go. Well, we'll be moving this one back down to. Uh, what was it legendary in a heartbeat? <laughs> but still, get a head screwed back on. It's the sim game against Bolton next. And finally, a bid has come in for Daniel Johnson for, or from Sheffield United, which we will gladly accept. I think it was Tilio that went to Sheffield United as well. So, uh, yeah, it could be out the door for Daniel Johnson. Got Ghana caught. I love seeing that Ghana being called up for England. Um, oh yeah, of course, Malayo's injury. We uh, we got to deal with but yeah we are at the sim game and just need to change up this bench because of uh, Mieho. right Yando Fuchs finds himself on the bench now in because of Mieho's injury and I'm actually gonna not bother changing kits because we're not even playing this game we are going back to our normal lineup as you can see we've moved it back down to uh, legendary as well but yeah, going with the normal lineup. This is how Bolton are probably going to line up for this game. Kiziel in goal. Back five of Sadlia, Toll, Santos, Johnson and John. Sheehan and Morley in the middle of defence with Dempsey behind Bakayoko and Charles. Hopefully the last game hasn't hurt us too much and we can pick up a win. And we do just about Ghana with two giving us the win with seven minutes to go. And we probably just about deserve to win that looking... At the stats of the game. So good back on course. Which is what we like to see. And Bakari. Um, yeah. Glad you are happy. Fair enough. Okay. So it's uh, another play game next. I think it's QPR. And there you go. Confirmation that Daniel Johnson. Has made his move to Sheffield United. So that is all. Ten players. That we wanted out at the start of the season gone we've got two more loanies that we're looking to get out so that could be a very good year of business so far for us right for the second played game of the episode then qpr line up like this joe walsh in goal for them a back four kakai clark salter dickey and garcia for them field at the base of the midfield with johansson and willick ahead of him a doma out on the right dykes through in the middle with elias chair out on the left certainly some good players for uh, QPR 
in this squad. We have made one change. I brought Smith in back um, ahead of Montoya. Played Montoya for a few games now. Um, going to put Smith back in to see who I feel I prefer to play with. Otherwise, is as you were, Garner up to 88 rated now. Absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, kind of like the games with Reading. We are um, playing in the green kit against the blue and white. It's not the not the best circumstances, but certainly, uh, unfortunately, the best that we can do, really, as Adoma looking to get in on that right-hand side. Thankfully, Burrows is alive to the task. Estrada passing sign, not the greatest, it must be said. And Dykes has absolutely sent us hit, and that ball in, thankfully for us, Adoma wasn't really on the same wavelength as uh, his attacking partner. Otherwise, that could have spelt real problems for us, but... Garner finds boot. Oh, Kudabali. The idea was right to cut inside because the gap was there, just the execution. Not quite what it needed to be. But QPR coming forward and they've done really well. Kakai has got the space here. Knight has got to come out and deal with him. Can't stop the cross though, and Edwards is there to get the ball away. And he will find Kudabali. And again, we could launch the counter and Garner. If he can get there away from Clark Salter, he has. And Joseph Garner will find the back of the net. It's never really much in question, to be honest, when he gets in that position. You only expect one outcome. His 17th goal of the season already. Absolutely ludicrous from this man. But a clinical counter-attack from us, really. It's so important that he managed to get ahead of Clark Salter and used his body to get away from him. But yeah, just the strike outside the foot, always bending away from the keeper. And inside 15 minutes in the capital, we have our lead. Looking to find Garner, and we will hold this up. Oh, and try and poke it out to Estrada, but Kakai alert to what was happening. I managed to get a toe in. Moving it around the forward line nicely, our QPRs. Dykes has the strike from distance. Bentley's keeping, had me... A little bit worried there, but he's got enough on it to divert away from danger. Although, oh, they almost got the head in in the front near post. That's what I'm trying to say. Get away to it, thank you. Lovely bit of play from Adoma, and he's allowed Kakai to get forward. It's a good ball in. Oh, and it's well, that was a superb ball in in that corridor of uncertainty. Oh, that ball is absolutely woeful. But again, it's Dan Bentley who's uh, kept us in this game. I think I'm not too sure. It might have been Dykes at the back post, but Kakai, I was saying earlier, has been their best player. And for me, yeah, that was such a good ball. Could have Oh my goodness, what is going on with us today? We'll find Nezovic. Smith. Elias. The strike across goal. We have an unlikely second. It is against the run of play. <coughs> but from the angle, Elias has found the back of the net. And those travelling supporters know that uh, we are well, we are robbing QPR a little bit, it must be said. But a nice little ball from Smith. Sees the man on his overlap. And it, from the angle, Elias puts his laces through it. Keeper, but can arguably be doing better. But that should, in theory, now put the game beyond doubt. Lovely play. Lovely play. And Garner is in behind. Joseph Garner. And he'll find the bottom corner for the third. And that will be game, set and match. Another counter-attack. Well, a lovely piece of play that's managed to find Garner through on goal. I keep saying, you play these four at the back and we will exploit them, especially with an 88-rated striker in the championship, which is absolutely absurd. But a lovely finish from Garner, the composure, just to take it all the way and find that bottom corner out of reach from the keeper. It's 3-0, that is game over, and we will take all three points again. And there goes the final whistle. 3-0 it is, a comprehensive win. Absolutely solid performance from us. No doubt about it. We dominated again. They had as many shots as we did, apparently, but we certainly had favourable possession. I feel like we had, well, Bentley made a couple of chances. They 
couple of really good saves. They did have some good chances, but we certainly had the best of them. And, uh, yeah, great performance, Tommy. I think I'm going to keep Tommy Smith in the side. I really enjoyed him again in that game. And I know what I'm going to get from him. Montoya's a bit of a mixed bag. He's good. Like, one on what like, defend. that's why I think he'd be better as a centre-half. Standing up, he's good. But, obviously, as a wing-back, you've got to get up and down. He hasn't got the pace for that. So, he may well look to convert him to a centre-half. But, yeah, Tommy Smith going to come back and stay in this side now. Right champion yeah championship game coventry at home which is going to be a sim game in just a few days so then next game in this episode is at home a sim game against coventry we are continuing the same lineup kula bali is now 76 overall uh this is how coventry are probably going to line up wilson in goal back five of darbo sheaf rose eccles and burrows allen and hamer in the middle with o'hare sat behind tavares and Godden, they've had a terrible start to the season commentary. So knowing our luck, this is not going to be a defeat. Estrada on the score sheet with Koulibaly and Elias. Not too much other action going on. Godden grabbing the goal for them. We deserve the win by the looks of the stats. No goal for Ghana. But yeah, all three of the attacking, um, attacking midfield players grabbing a goal, which is nice. But now we have a gap. And then we have Bournemouth. And I want revenge on Bournemouth. Oh, we don't have a gap. It's in a few days. Okay, never mind. So for the final game of the episode, then, this is how our visitors at Bournemouth line up. Alta Morano in goal for them. A back four. Souza, Mepham, Kelly and Tyreek Mitchell. Billing and Moreno holding for them. Ben Rahu on the right. Kim on the left with Tavernier in behind. Bebu. Got some options on the bench there. Alan Vareya. Enrique Araujo is there. So, certainly a good squad. Just come down from the Premier League. This is how we line up. We've made one change. A few tired legs out there from midweek. But we have made one change. Koulibaly not quite fit enough to start this one. So, we brought in Bakari and we've gone back to the old way. Bakari on the right. Estrada through the middle with Elias on the left. Otherwise, it's as you were. Uh, Malejo had already, before he got injured... He'd already grown up to 75 rated because of his injury. He's now already back down to 74. So, uh, yeah, not ideal for him, to be fair. But uh, I'm sure only a couple of months out, he'll get that back fairly sharpish, I'd imagine. Some good early possession play from us here, you know. And Smith, well, we'll try and loft that one in. But fortunately for us, it's too close to the keeper. Oh, Smith was looking to burst forward there, but stopped in his tracks. He will try and recover, though, against Kim. Oh, that's a nasty tackle. It's going to be a yellow card. I think Kim was another one. Certainly the uh, the keeper was a free agent we had our eye on, but uh, I'm pretty sure Kim was as well. As Estrada has the strike across goal. That one is fairly comfortable, and Angel Estrada in his old position producing... The old sort of performance, not that he hasn't played well on that left-hand side, but the link that him and uh, Garner built up, they've certainly rekindled that in the opening 15. And this game going to be a lot different to the one that it was in the FA Cup last season. Absolutely, pow well, pounced isn't the right word, absolutely trounced us, that's what I was going to say. But uh, now we've got our full 11 out, and they know what we're about, Bournemouth. So far, you can certainly tell they're a team of quality in this division. Not quite as stacked as some of the teams in this division have been. The likes of, of course, Fulham. Their team is absolutely ridiculous for this level. But Leeds, I think, were probably a better side at this level last season. But Strada coming away. Try and get the ball through to Garner, and we can. And the defender has come away from him. And Garner will have the strike. And Garner will find the net. With an absolute aplomb. What a finish from Joseph Garner. You don't allow him that sort of space in the penalty area. But yeah, I don't know what it is with defenders this year. And uh, the covering defender just seems to run away. But Alton Morano flew to his right. But there was no way he was stopping that. Absolutely gorgeous finish from Joseph Garner. 19 and 15 for him so far this season. Already halfway to the uh, magical 40. 40 goal mark for this side. 
as Ben Rahu looks to build something, but Burroughs did very well, but uh, managed to give the ball away. Oh my god, that is suicidal. We're just going to get rid of this. Well, that was calm, wasn't it? That's going to be a foul referee, surely. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that should have been a foul, so I'm not happy with that. But I am kind of uh, kind of impressed with the goalkeeping. You've got Stan Bentley. Whey, he's already on his arse before he's even shifted it onto his left peg to shoot. Ferreira, a substitute. Is there going to be a block? That is a superb piece of play in and around the area. And the intricate play means that Bournemouth have their equaliser. Boos ring out around the stadium. Not really a lot I can do around that intricate sort of play, but from there... He smashed that into the back of the net, Araujo, and really not a lot we could do. And early doors, this game was looking rather comfortable. Now, it's really not looking as comfortable. Estrada. Ah, oh, that's not, not what I wanted from Garner. Milicevic. Ricky J. Jones. The first we've seen of him this season, I do believe. It's a nice little ball in there. Burrows. Nezovic, Nezovic, he's found the back of the net, the Serb. Unbelievable piece of play from us. The intricate play and the ball there from Burrows rather than just crossing it in. He's seen that Nezovic is unmarked and it's into the far post. Well, Kelly in the way of the defender. Garner does so well to get his way, make his way, almost like he's done the bloody matrix to get out of the way of the ball. But such a good piece of play to get us in that area. And we have, again, as it looked like Bournemouth were going to be the side to go on and win this game. We have come through it. And Nick Ricky J. Jones. First, I think we've seen of him this season. And he's put in, well, potentially match-winning involvement. Burrows is there. Oh, yeah, we brought on both Oliveiras as well as uh, Ricky J. Jones. And that is going to be that. And what a win that is. Again, we made it hard for ourselves. 2-0 to the good. Bournemouth fought back. Fair play to them. And made it 2 all. But Nezovic, the man, with the winner. God, what a game. What a challenge. And well, Bournemouth having the better of the game. So you could argue they deserve to win that. But we will certainly take it. And well, other than that... Uh, experiment up to ultimate four wins from four again this episode so it's certainly starting to look good for us well there that's a recap of what's happened in today's ep episode so that 4-1 defeat to Fulham to start things off but then the sim win away at Bolton the played win away at QPR the simmed home win against Coventry and then yeah that game against Bournemouth let's have a look at how the championship table looks and we sit in second behind would you know it Bournemouth they've got just one defeat so far this season but we are level on points we have won a game more than them which makes up for the extra draws they have over us we've scored more goals we have conceded more so that's why they're above us on goal difference four points clear of Palace and City so we are looking good as we head towards the month of November and we are seven points clear of the playoffs as or the uh, teams outside the playoffs as well so a very good episode if we have a look at what is to come in the next episode five games so we will again play our way through the entire month of November in the next episode I'm not too sure what games we'll sim but I will decide that and I will come back to you so if you have enjoyed this episode guys pop a like on there for me subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next one